Cleaning up in Calgary, business owners are trying to pick up the pieces in their flood-ravaged city. Mission Diner, a small restaurant, was located in the center of Calgary. Now it's been impacted by the floods. Its owner, Mayor Mari O'Donnell, joins us now via Skype from Calgary. Hey, Mari, thanks for taking time to speak with us today. No problem. Thanks for having me. So now I know that you've got a second location that you were going to open, and now you've obviously had to open it. But what happened to your first location? Well, we, uh, we filled up with water. Um, our building's pretty old. It's from 1911. And we filled up with water right to the ceiling of our basement. So, um, it, yeah, all of our infrastructure and structure and all of that stuff is compromised now. At this stage of the game, is there any chance that you'll ever open that uh, first location again? Yeah, I have flood insurance. so um, <laughs> One of the few. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, I have one hell of an um, insurance agent. So... Um, so I'm, I'm covered, so the plan is to reopen. Well, that's great. When, uh, I don't know. Yeah. Do you yeah. have a timetable on that? Because obviously, with the, uh, as most restaurants are, you're on the main floor of uh, the building you're in, so you must have uh, experienced quite a bit of damage. Yeah, there's, there's, a lot of, there's a lot of recovery work, and it's all, um, it's all like building blocks. My, my landlord has to get his part done, and then I have to get my part done, so it, and insurance has to pay out, so nobody really knows, I think, exactly when everyone's going to reopen. Mm. Yeah, it, we're, we're all in the same boat. There's so many of us that were affected. Well, uh, obviously, that's the next question I want to go to, because apart from the physical damage that the flood has on the, the city and its, uh, its infrastructure, there are people that work at your restaurant. You're a business owner. You're a, uh, yeah. Are you a sole proprietor of your business? I am sole proprietor. Right, so you've obviously been impacted. How is this affecting your ability to make an income? Well, it stopped it completely, mm-hmm. <laughs> which was a little bit scary. Uh, hence the reason that we opened our new location quickly. We were going to rebrand it as something completely different, but we just moved everybody over, all the stock, all the staff, and just opened up so everyone could pay their bills. Mm. Now, you know, the question of flood insurance is something that's been bandied about quite a bit because not very many people are able to get flood insurance. You're one of the lucky ones. Uh, can you tell us a bit about that? Because it's, it's something that seems to be quite rare. Yeah, I'm not exactly sure why. I don't know if it's maybe a, a thing that's more common in commercial insurance and less common in um, in private insurance for, for people's homes, but mm-hmm. we are in a floodplain. Um, yeah. The idea of not having flood insurance in a floodplain to me is a little bit crazy. Yeah, it kind of makes sense, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. it sure does. So w- when you go out to your uh, original location and you look around and you see the devastation that was wreaked by these floods, uh, what do you think? Oh, man, I... Uh, I don't think I've cried more uh, in my entire life than I have in the past week. It's yeah. been terrible. Just really, it, it's been like a war zone. There's been, there's been the, the flooding, and then to add insult to injury, then we had a train derailed in the city, and we had a bunch of fires, and there's just there's emergency people everywhere. There's police everywhere. You know, this is the time of year that we're normally gearing up for stampede. There's just people dressed up as cowboys everywhere. Like, mm. you know, it's, it's, it's very strange. Very, yeah. very strange. We've never had something like this in Calgary. Uh, you don't recover from something like this overnight, Mari, but no. uh, how do you t- take the steps towards getting back to somewhat semblance of normalcy? Well, I was really lucky with the fact that I was having a second location. Mm-hmm. Um, so on, on Thursday, we all uh, got our deliveries and we did prep and we set up the restaurant. And then on Friday, we started serving. And that's what we do. We, we make food and we serve food. Like we don't we don't shovel mud around. That's not what we normally do. So it was just so nice to have our doors open and have our customers come. We've uh, we've been doing a big push on social media to get uh, to get everyone who who was our customer before aware of the fact that we've changed locations and have reopened. And to see so many familiar faces is amazing. Yeah, that must aid in the in the I guess the attempts at getting back to normal life is when your customers are able to come to a business like yours and see the faces they've seen for the last few years in, 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 in a different place, albeit, but still, Absolutely. that familiarity yeah. must be comforting. Oh, so comforting. And also the amount of volunteers that have, that have come out of the woodwork in Calgary, it has been completely amazing. Almost all of what's been going on, at least in my neighborhood, has been volunteer-driven. Like, I, have, I don't know how these people manage to get time off work and come down, and it's amazing. We wouldn't be even half as close to... Where we are right now, if it wasn't for the volunteers, we had people come and help us with our garbage and help us with uh, stripping our basement, and then we had people come and, uh, and help set up the new restaurant. It was, it was phenomenal. 
Mari, you're on the ground there in Calgary. Uh, one of the things that has come out in, in the aftermath of the flood is that people are already being critical of the government response to this. What do you make of the criticism the government's getting? Well, you know, we haven't really been affected by, by the government not, not responding. My alderman, John Marr, came uh, yesterday to help with the cleanup behind my restaurant. So I haven't experienced that. Mm. Mari, look, we appreciate you, one, staying open and, and getting that new business up running for the uh, members of your city and your community there, and two, taking time to speak with us. You take care and good luck. Thanks so much. Good luck to you, too. All right, you take care. That's Bye -bye. Mari O'Donnell. She's a Calgary business owner. She opens a small restaurant, Mission Restaurant. So if you're in Calgary, go by.